I would love to see people walk away with their own personal God creator spirit connection and, and know there's no division, you know, there's no separation and omnipresent and start behaving accordingly, you know, being kind to each other on the planet. That's that's the one thing I'd like to see people walk away with. From August 9th through the 11th, the first annual Contact in the Desert Conference took place at the 400-acre Joshua Tree Retreat Center in Joshua Tree, California. Just 90 miles east of Los Angeles, this conference had a varying range of topics and was titled with A Weekend of Exploration into Ancient Aliens, Human Origins, Crop Circles, UFO Sightings, and the Need to Know. It's a wide variety, it's very diverse, very eclectic, and uh, they've got some people who really know their stuff. I'm, I've been very impressed with this place and I have not yet seen one person with a tinfoil hat or a little papella or a painted green. These are serious people looking into serious matters, uh, not just UFOs, but human origins, geopolitics, uh, health issues. Uh, it's really quite enlightening. In fact, it's just too bad that everyone couldn't come and be exposed to the uh, information, the material that's being presented here. Open Mind showed up with an array of equipment to do some sky watching. On the first night of the conference, the on-site amphitheater was turned into a laser show and sky watch event with a meditation led by James Gilliland. And come from a position of gratitude. Open Minds brought out its fully equipped ATV. We also used some night vision equipment to catch a glimpse of the Persid meteor shower. Coast to Coast host George Norrie announced that he has just signed a long-term deal with Clear Channel to continue hosting the popular radio show for the next several years. The announcement was made at a private lunch event followed by a panel discussion which also included Richard Dolan, Roger Lear, Michael Tellinger, and James Gilliland. And that's the key. You feel these beings. That you feel them. You communicate through the heart. You feel these beings. God is a feeling. Gilliland, who founded the East Eddy Ranch near Mount Adams, Washington, gave his own lecture and showed videos from around the world and video from the ranch. Look how low that is. I'm filming it right now. We do a lot of different things at the ranch. Uh, we do a lot of sky watching and, and uh, filming and videotaping the UFOs that come on a regular basis. and. When we find these amazing discoveries and being able to connect the dots and tie these loose ends together. South African Michael Tellinger was another of the crowd favorites talking about human origins. Open Minds interviewed Tellinger back in 2010. From the Sumerian translations and from Sitchin's work, uh, we get um, quite graphic detail about a group of, uh, of, of beings that came to Earth uh, 450 odd thousand years ago and they came in search of gold. Gold seems to be a very rare mineral in uh, not only our solar system, but, but in the galaxy as well. And uh, they came here with a simple intention to mine the gold and take it back. They realized that they're not getting enough of the substance and they needed to speed up the production of the gold mining and the, the, the extraction of gold. And they took a decision that they needed help. And that help came in the form of a new being that they cloned and uh, they called it the, the primitive worker or Lulu Amelu based on the translations and, um, and that species uh, seems to be us, the human beings. From Giorgio Sokolos to Michael Cremo, the conference was packed with speakers, sometimes lecturing simultaneously in four different areas. But most in attendance seemed pleased with the experience. Well, this group understands that there are things beyond the physical. Right, this group understands there is a wider agenda. Uh, overall, I've, I've gotten quite a bit of positive reaction from people. Uh, one comment I have heard several times was, uh, you know, the quality of the conference hinges on the quality of the speakers. The grounds at the Joshua Tree Retreat Center provided the appropriate backdrop for the first endeavor of this gathering. The conference organizers hope that its success will lead to its return next year.